I challenged the top producers on the Cinematics team to flip the exact same sample pack to see who could make the best track. The winner's gonna be getting $500. But the thing is, everybody only has 24 hours to make a song. The pack everybody's gonna be using is actually Immortal, our new production suite. It has over 30 gigabytes of sounds, lots of different genres, stems included with everything, so I really can't wait to see what people do with the pack. Also, I've made a song for the contest, so if I can just yoink that prize uh, out of our producer's hands, I'm not gonna feel guilty. The way it works is we have three judges to pick the winner. Legendary FL Studio producer, Larry O, the guy who edits these videos, Tony, and one of the homies at the office, Devin. And their reactions to the songs are absolutely priceless. God damn! Hey! Nah, bro, what? And later in this video, I'm actually gonna be showing you guys a secret free sample pack that you can only get by watching this video, so stay tuned and be sure that after you watch, you go get that pack. All right, guys, I'm first up, let's go. So I actually found this loop in the pack and I decided to use it as the base of the song. I actually pulled out that brass layer, sped it up, started chopping around, and pitched it up just to give it a lot of energy. So there was two more really important layers. The first was the high pitch layer. And then next, the one that really added a lot to it was this low brass layer. And all three, it just really came to life. For the intro, there was this piano and this opera singer, and I actually thought those two were really good basses for the intro, so I only used those two stem layers. Okay, next up, I added uh, a little percussion loop that was really filtered, just added a nice little percussive flow to the intro, as well as this um, little impact sound. That with the uh, percussion. I found this bell that just, all together, the intro really came together. So I started with this loop stem from a kick from this drum loop called the Atlanta drum loop. And as you can see here, anything I liked or disliked, I would just start cutting and rearranging. So as you can see here, I'm just cutting and moving stuff around, finding the best spots for it. And I kind of rewrote the kick. I wanted a really, really hard hitting snare. So I kind of like really turned this sucker up. Yes, the snare fucking slapped. Kick also, if you're really trying to get your kicks or some of your drums to hit hard, just using a little bit of that boost knob goes a long way. Just to add a little bit of tension right here before the drop hits, I just cut this part of the hi-hat as well as this part of the kick just so it slams in when the brass comes in. See, that little pause does so much. So that's the basis really for the drums, like super simple, but this was kind of a little contest. So I really wanted to fill out with effects and do a lot of stuff. In this, a couple things that really makes the drums stick out. I think one is just like this uh, live fill. And then of course, there's a lot of little details I do, like a little open hat. Also, these little snare rolls are super useful. Just small background details as well. Even randomly, I love this vocal strike. And on the second half, I had this little ride. Just to change it up a little bit, but all together, here's how the drum sounded. And as for the bass, I think the low end brass was doing a lot of work for the tonality and stuff, but I really needed just a thick 808 really carrying the weight. So I found this 808 inside of Immortal. It's just following the brass, super simple. And for the outro, I just did the same thing as the intro, but honestly, I just left in the 808. Let me just play going into it so you can feel how much energy it goes from being one vibe to a complete different. comes out of nowhere. It's a really big sound. And I think that that difference between the chill vibe really helped the brass record. That is it. I hope you guys liked it. Good luck. I expect nothing short of greatness. What? <laughs> that is a huge brass section. God damn! so good. The 808 is very sick here in the breakdown as well.
Sound selection is, is really nice. That one was hard as fuck. Damn, I wanted to hear that part come back. That's fire. The combination between the brass and the hard hitting drums. Woo! Hey guys, what's up? It's Rasp here from the Cymatics production team, and today we're going to be taking a look at this beat I made for our Cymatics Immortal Flip Contest. So the first thing I did was going through melodies. This one... That one right there caught my ear. First thing I did was I just pitched it down by one. I dragged and dropped this preset I've made. It's just a tremolator, honestly. So it has this like stuttery feel to it. So in the beginning, I kept the melody in mono as well. I automated this, show automation. I turn it off when it drops. It's just for the beginning. Just so in the intro, you have this like very stark contrast between the intro and the actual drop where everything becomes stereo. It just feels a lot, lot wider and, and bigger. So what I did was I took this chop and I layered in the original again. So it's like three bars of it having this stuttery tremolo feel to it. And then for the last fourth bar, it goes back to normal. After the first eight bars, I kind of wanted to add something else. So what I did was is I took this one and I copied it over and pitched it up by two octaves and made it very quiet and very faint. So it's not really overbearing in any sense, but it does add a little bit of extra sparkle to the entire thing. That was basically everything for the melodies. The next thing I'm going to break down is the drums, namely the 808s. And as you can see here, there's four 808 channels, which is a bit excessive. Obviously, I wasn't trying to make a, a beat to go for a placement. This was more of a beat battle type of beat or something that would kind of impress the, the producer homie. So I found this one 808 inner mortal. Sounds absolutely huge right off the gate and came up with this 808 progression. So originally it had these ghost notes to be a part of it. But I'm like, this sounds a little too muddy. So what I did instead was is I took those exact notes and I copied them to another MIDI channel and selected this 808. It doesn't immediately hit. There's a bit of an attack to it. And then finally, we have this last 808 here, which is used at the end of every eight bars. Which is just playing the same as the root note, just an octave higher. After that, I found two snares that I really liked, and I couldn't really decide between both of them. So I said, you know what, let's just layer them. And the second one is this. Sounds really cool together, especially when you layer them in the beat. After that, I went on to do my hi-hats and I said, you know what? Let me get inspired by finding some hi-hat midis that we also have in Cymatics as a Mortals production suite. And I dragged and dropped a few of them until I found one that I liked. I altered it very slightly. After that, I said, you know what? It needs a few more rolls. And after that, I went on to layer in some open hats to kind of give it more bounce. All in all, the overheads, the high hats, open hats together gave us this bounce. Lastly, I figured I should add two percussive elements. First one is this sweaty perk. And also this classic. This is laser sound, which you can make really cool rolls with. So all the drums together. I went into the effects section of Cymatics and I found so many dope sounds that you could just drag and drop. I basically ended up grabbing this arpeggio. Layered it with a tonal effects. And for that tonal effects, every time it hits, I have it previously reversed coming into this. After that, I layered in a, one of the reverse effects and a crash. I went on to add this synth strike and you layer everything back together. After the first drop, I, uh, I used the exact same jungle loop. And what I did is I set it to repitch and I automated the BPM on the master.
it's a lot faster. It's got a lot more energy to it. And that, that's partly because we're pitching it up and also speeding it up. I copied the drums over. I removed all the extra 808. So it was just this one 808 and altered the progression slightly, mostly just adding more melodic kind of rolls and riffs throughout of it. And also not having it be empty after the initial eight bars of the drop, but the drums were still empty. So you get this kind of like contrast where the 808 still hits, but the other drums don't, and then they come back in. And that's basically it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Can't wait to see you guys again. Peace. is also very disrespectful and rude. Eight are going nuts. The drums are stupid hard. What's happening here? We got pitch bending going on. Oh, building tension. <laughs> Details, the lasers. So good, man. Fills, the transition. Oh my goodness. Went hard as fuck with the 808s. That shit slaps, man. I mean, that whole mix is just ripping your face off literally the entire time. I fucking love it. Jesus Christ, her ass. Good shit. That was beyond hard sound selection the bounce 808 was absolutely disgusting all right before we go on to the next producer real quick if you guys haven't got a chance to get immortal yet this entire production suite that has over 30 gigabytes of sounds is one of the best packs we've come out with for quite a while it has over 300 melodies drums one shots drum loops every single drum loop has its own stem as well as every single melody everything's key labeled bpm labeled not to mention there's a lot of really cool textures fx vocal loops and really anything you can imagine to work with our whole idea for this pack was for you to explore new genres, use different elements from this pack as almost like a crate digging experience where you're finding new stuff to sample, creating new things out of Immortal. And honestly, it really lives up to what we wanted to do with this project. There's only 1500 licenses. At the time of recording is over 60% already sold out. So be sure to check that out. And later in this video, don't forget, I still am giving you guys a secret free pack. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Harry and this is my breakdown for my contest entry. For this track, I was really inspired by French House like Daft Punk. And so I was looking for the Immortal Pack and I found this vintage loop called High Roller. <laughs> And so I took that and I put it in simpler on slice mode and pitched up a little bit. And it just means that I can take my keyboard and I can just play different snippets of it and just find something that works really well. And so I have this MIDI pattern where it's just all of those triggered. And then I just have this vocal that leads nicely into the drop. So once I had the melody, the next thing was to work on the kick. I took three layers. One of them is just an EDM kick, but I shaved off the transient and I added a shaper box just to trim the tail a little bit. And then I decided to take that same transient, but pitch it up 15 semitones. And so that just gives it more of a, like a mid knock that cuts through the mix a lot better. And then just to add some more interest to it, I added this texture. And I think something really important when you're layering kicks is to actually resample them. And so if I solo that group and resample it, you get a visual representation of what's happening. So you can see if there's any phase issues. So then I put the clap together. A really natural, almost snap sounding clap. A another clap with a shaker in it. And then just to reverse the Jaguar drum loop, just to lead into it. And all together that sounds like. And then for the top loop, Looks like I've processed them a lot, but I'm just using these overdrive for a little bit of tone and it just increases the sustain a little bit. And then I have this order pan preset that I made, which is essentially just side chaining and an open hat. So when the drop hits, it's the same melody from the intro, but I've got a phase mistress on it. Uh, and that's a plugin by Sound Toys. And I think this is the default preset just with the mix turned on a little bit. 
because I wanted to be a bit more aggressive, I've got OTT on there doing quite a lot and then just high passing it, adding a side chain and just limiting a tiny bit just to control the dynamics of it. And then for the bass, I took the sample and I just low passed it just to isolate the low mids. And I'm limiting that a little bit just to make it a bit more consistent and then using the same side chain as I've used for everything else. And under that I've used an 808 just as a sub and I'm using the glide function in Simpler just to add a little bit of movement to it. And then in the B section I have this 808. So I always have these effects playing which is like scratches or turntable, spin backs. <laughs> But it just keeps the flow going and just fills those gaps. So then I used one of the vocal ambiences and just made a melody out of it. So this is what it sounds like. And I wanted it to kind of sound like old Madian. So I added a bit crusher and a ping pong delay. And that's it, guys. I tried to keep it really simple and just keep the vibe going. Good luck to everyone else. And I can't wait to see what you came up with. Already, Daft Punk vibes. insane that was so dope harry how do you do what you do that's what i want to know that's so fresh it's a fresh take on a, on a classic style hey guys my name's nick and in this video i'm going to be breaking down the beat i made using the immortal production suite the main drive behind the whole beat was this loop here that came from the electronic melodies and you can tell that I pitched it down and compressed it a bit, or I stretched it out in terms of tempo. And this is in the intro, and this is playing over top of some Baila inspired drums. That's that Baila percussion. That's a stomp kick. Now this vocal, it is passed through a gate. And what this gate is doing is just cutting out some of that background noise. Then we transition to this section. Okay, so this uh, vocal obviously is not mine, but it's an AI generated vocal, funny enough. I was experimenting a little bit with this new technology, and it requires you to pass in your own recorded vocal, and it spits out something, in this case, in the style of Travis Scott. And I also had the idea for that melodic progression, just to show you how the sausage is made. And this is a bit of the vocal that I passed in. You know that I go on top for you. You need to tune it before it goes in, and then I have to tune it after. So I use the Antares, and that's getting passed into Valhalla Vintage Verb. You know that I go on top for you. It's a long 14 second reverb. It sounds very light, because I have the bass multiplier is set to 0.5 and all that's doing is just reducing the bass as the bass kind of swells up in the room typically bass gets louder in a big room uh, here it's going to get smaller and also there's a pretty aggressive low cut that's cutting away all the low frequencies so that it's not going to occupy too much space in the low end and that's how you get like a travis scott style reverb but then we kind of dip into this so the lead sound I made it with Serum, and then that's being passed into a dynamic EQ. That's just removing some of that boxiness again. And now, this is just some kind of metallic screech. Did some distortion with a saturator. So let's look at some of the basses. But the main low end is coming from this 808, and that's what's giving the groove, as well as the low end. So if we take this and we solo this with the kick, And all of these tracks are being passed into this group. And that has a shaper box, which is just a volume shaper. In this case, I am triggering it with the kick and that's making it duck up and down. So here I have a brass. The main kind of percussion of the track comes from this loop here. And that's giving us all that motion in the, in the high end. And there's a lot of different effects different bird screeches. Let's go through the drums. So the kick, and that's going through Diablo. And the Diablo plugin is just doing a little bit of transient shaping with the punch knob. 
and then that is playing nicely with the snare and when we play that with the 808 the second half has some stuff as well so this is a lead stem and i brought that in just to fill out that space and then this sound and it's just distorted a bit and that that is all for the processing and then we have this re-space it just has some eq chorus then it goes into a reverb and then uh this is this is just an equalizer that uh is doing some automation if you look here and then this uh crooks vocal is just doing a little bit of uh, layering on top of everything very subtle but it gives a, a cool texture on top of that lead okay so thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye Man, that vocal though. Oh, it's coming in. No. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Moment of silence because that was. Of course, Nick goes off. These guys, Nick, he he can't compete with Nick. I mean, this guy is a fucking monster, and he can do it all. Even flexing the Travis Scott style vocals there. I would definitely be vibing to this kind of beat when I'm out in the club, just partying it up. Now is the moment we've all been waiting for. This was a serious close contest. I don't know how I'm supposed to pick. It's a really tough decision to make, I'm gonna be honest. If I gotta pick one, dude... I'm gonna cast my vote. I gotta give it to Nick. My vote is for a rasp. I gotta go with Nick. His approach on it was super creative. The use of the vocal, I don't know what that vocal was, but it sounded crazy. I loved everything about his track. The build up, the switch up, the sound selection, the drum bounce. I gotta give it to Nick. So time to tell you about the secret free pack. Essentially every producer on our team was playing with Immortal and we made so much new stuff out of just making new songs that we decided to take everybody's project, break down all the different drum loops, the new melodies, the new stuff they were doing with the samples and actually create an entirely new pack for free. It's called Immortal Aftermath. And if you guys want to get that, there is a link in the description. All you have to do is go to the page and type in the secret password 500. After you go get that free pack, be sure to check out the full version of Immortal if you're interested. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like and subscribe and go get that free pack. Peace.